Kings. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to get the Hadouken in Mega Man X. The first thing to do is jump on the skateboard and hop off right before you get to the ostrich. You will then run into a bat bot you have not seen this entire game, but you will recognize it if you have played other games in the Mega Man series. The reason why you stop here is because this bat drops a ridiculous amount of lives, and in order to get to the Hadouken you have to die three times, so dying once without reaching the ledge will mess you up. The most lives you can have total is nine. If this is your first time trying this, you're probably going to want to fill up all the way. As you can see, once the area where the bat appears is out of your screen, it will respawn. Gathering these extra lives makes it so that you never have to leave the level. You can now go through the level like you normally would. In order to do this in the first place, you will have to have beaten the eight main bosses in the game. You also need to have all four Dr. Light upgrades, all eight heart tanks, and all sub tanks. If you haven't noticed already, this is the Armored Armadillo stage. The reason why you can't get the Hadouken before you beat the eight Mavericks is because it can destroy any of them in one shot. It even blows through Chill Penguin's ice statue. On this part, you're going to want to slide down just enough to activate the digging robot. Slide back up and then jump behind it so that you are chasing it and not the other way around. Later on in the Sigma levels, you will have to revisit all the original bosses along the way. So that is when you can speed up your gameplay and save some lives. The downside to the Hadouken is that you can only use it when your life bar is full. So you're going to want to get that first shot when you're in a boss battle. It is not a weapon you can pick up and use like the rest of the weapons you find in the game. It does not run out. But you do need to use a button combination to use it. The Hadouken in Mega Man is a play on reuse Hadouken in Street Fighter. So if you have played Street Fighters, you know how to do it. But for those of you who haven't, it's down, diagonal, forward, and Y, which is your buster attack. Mega Man X does not have a save system. Instead, it has a password system. The password is nine numbers long, and each password represents not only a specific place in the game, but also what you have collected along the way, except for the Hadouken. If you turn off your system, you will lose a Hadouken and have to go through the same process every time you want it. But it only takes about eight minutes if you do it the way I'm showing you here. Remember when I said you're going to have to die a couple of times? Well, you don't have to start the level from the beginning after each death. Mega Man has checkpoints just like most games, except there's no visual representation of when you pass it. This is where you'll be brought back to every time you die, so you're going to want to get used to the rest of the level because you'll be doing it four times. The next part is crucial and will probably be the most difficult thing you do when getting the Hadouken. It is very fast paced and there's so much going on that the game will naturally lag. You're going to want to jump onto the skateboard, but don't worry about killing the miners. Just focus on staying on the board. On the other hand, you will want to kill these birds so while you are riding, charge up your buster all the way so you can knock out as many as you can. From then on, fire your buster trying to pick off the rest. Once your skateboard starts to lose altitude, jump off and land on the side of the mountain that sticks out the most. Climb up, stand on the platform, and jump off. The important part of this is to stand anywhere on the upper platform. The energy capsule is not important. Which brings me to some common misconceptions that would make anyone cringe at the idea of even trying to get the Hadouken. Your life does not need to be full by the time you get to the ledge, and neither does your weapon energy. And that goes the same for another misconception, that your sub tanks need to be full before you get to the ledge. This is also not true. And lastly, you do not have to do this in one run. You can leave the level and come back do it again, and as long as you reach the platform four times, you will get the Hadouken. As long as you don't, reset the console. I previously thought that you had to have full life before getting to the ledge. Once I realized it wasn't necessary, getting to the Hadouken became very easy. Also, because your weapon energy doesn't need to be full, you can use some creative ways to get through the birds at the end. For instance, using the charged rolling shield, or charged up chameleon sting to make yourself invincible for a short period of time. After the fourth time of reaching the ledge, a capsule will appear with Dr. Light inside wearing Ryu's outfit, and he will give you the Hadouken. 
I hope this helped. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.